Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Mr. Kovalt and today we are going to be talking about naming binary ionic compounds. So uh, what do I mean by binary? What I mean is uh, a compound that is made up of two, uh, two atoms. So that's why binary means two. And so we're going to have one um, ion or atom that has charge that is going to be bonded with another atom that has charge. So we only are going to be dealing with two atoms. Each one has charge. And so we call it a binary ionic compound. This is uh, going to be compared to later on. Uh, where we have a polyatomic ion involved. So that's not going to be a binary ion, that's going to be a polyatomic uh, ion. So, or an ionic compound with a polyatomic ion. Okay, so this we're only looking at um, substances or ionic compounds that only have two different um, elements in the, in the formula. So you can see here that I have uh, potassium and chlorine. I have calcium and oxygen. I have calcium and bromine. I have silver and nitrogen. So I only have like two different elements in the compound. And so we're going to go over how to name these particular ionic compounds. Now let me specify first that um, this naming only applies to uh, those ionic compounds that have metals that ha only have one charge. So, <clears throat> so there are a lot of metals, and these are mainly your transition metals, that have more than one charge possible, right? So they, like for example, iron, iron can have a two plus charge, or it can have a three plus charge. Copper can have a plus one charge, or it can have a plus two charge. So it just depends. Um, but in this, uh, in the examples here, and in this way of naming, uh, this only applies to uh, metals that only have one charge, and that's going to be your main group metals, right? So the so the A groups, one A, two A, three A, four A, and so on. So the representative elements or the main group elements, and there are a few. Um, transition elements that have only one charge. So I have them written down here. So we have scandium. So that's going to have a three plus charge, only a three plus charge. We have silver. That's only going to have a plus, a plus charge, a plus one charge. Zinc only has a two plus charge and cadmium only has a two plus charge. So you need to remember the charges on these guys. So because these guys aren't main group elements, and so you need to remember that. The rest of them are main group elements, and we've already gone over how to figure out from the periodic table what their charge is going to be. And remember, if it's groups 1, 2, and 3A, then the charge is the same as the group number plus charge. And then if you're in groups 5A through 8A, they're going to have a negative charge, and the way you figure out that charge, it's the group number minus the, the number 8, and that gives you the charge for that group. Okay, so um, how do we name these things? Um, this is going to be common for all ionic compounds, but the way you name an ionic compound in general is if you know the names of the two ions, you just put the names together, and that becomes the name for your compound. It's that simple. That's all. So all you need to do is know the names of your ions. If you don't know the names of your ions, then you're not going to know the name of the compound. If you know the name of your ions, then you put them together and that becomes the name of your compound. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get into naming your binary ion compounds. So you need to know the names of your metals, and the name of your metal ion is the same as the name of the element itself, right? So if I, um, if I have the metal uh, sodium, so then that becomes the sodium ion. So 
uh, an Na plus ion or atom is a sodium ion. So we tack on the word ion, right? Uh, if I have aluminum, aluminum is a metal uh, that would be called the aluminum ion, right? So it has a three plus charge, um, so on and so forth. Um, then the other half, which is your negative ion, your anion. So the metal is going to be your cation. That's written first. And then you've got a nonmetal. So that is going to be characteristic of your ionic substance. So you need to be able to classify your ionic substance or classify the compound first. Is it ionic or is it not ionic? Right. And the way you're going to tell if it's ionic is if it has a metal and a nonmetal. So it's, that's the dead giveaway. So you check for the metal, potassium, and then that's going to be the first part of your name. So if you have the potassium ion, then the potassium ion is going to be the first part of the name. So you just drop the word ion, so potassium. Um, and then the second part is going to be the name of the ion here, right? So, you, but you gotta know the name of the ion. So here, I have here the list of some examples of how you get the ion name. Um, basically, it's going to be the element name, um, but you're going to drop the ending and you're going to add I-D-E, I-D, to the end of it. So, um, so fluorine, drop the ending, and this is our, our ion that becomes fluoride. So this is the fluoride ion. Uh, bromine, drop the I-N-E, at I-D-E, that becomes bromide ion. Chlorine, drop the I-N-E, at I-D-E, that becomes chloride ion. And the same thing for iodine. Iodine, drop the I-N-E, uh, at I-D-E, and you get iodide. Um, now, some of these, uh, you, you, they don't end in I-N-E, and you have to memorize what the, what the ending is that you need to drop. So, for example, for oxygen, you need to drop the Y-G-E-N, and then add I-D-E for oxide. So this becomes the oxide ion. Sulfur, you're dropping the U-R, add I-D-E, so you got the sulfide ion. And then nitrogen, it's the O-G-E-N, and that becomes nitride. And then phosphorus, you're dropping the O-R-U-S, and that becomes phosphide. So you have to know what the names of these ions are. And so this is the way you, you name these uh, single atom ions, okay? So these are, this is again binary uh, ionic compound. So once you know the name of your nonmetal, fluoride, bromide, chloride, and so on, um, now you just put the names together. Um, <clears throat> you're going to drop the word ion, right? So potassium ion is just potassium. Chloride ion is just chloride. Put potassium and chloride together, and you get potassium chloride. That's it. That's the name of the compound. So here, potassium chloride. So the name for this substance is potassium chloride. So what about B? So CA, I looked that up on my periodic table. I need to know the name of the element because that's going to be the name of the first part of my compound. So Ca is calcium. So when I have a Ca2+, plus, that's going to be the calcium ion. Of course, I'm going to drop the ion part, and it's just calcium. That's the first part of the name. Now I have oxygen here. I'm going to drop the ending and add IDE for the ion name, and it's oxide. So I just add oxide. So that's the name of this compound, calcium oxide, calcium oxide, okay?
What about the next one? Same thing. We have the same element, calcium. So that's going to be the first part of the name. Calcium. And then we have Br for bromine. Again, for the ion name, you're going to drop the ending and add IDE. So this becomes bromide ion. So we're going to drop the word ion and just add bromide. So bromide. Oops. Bromide. So this becomes calcium bromide. Calcium bromide. And then finally, uh, we have AG. AG is silver. And again, a, uh, silver is one of those transition elements that has a, uh, does not have a variable charge. It only has one charge, so you have to memorize what it is, what the charge is. So that's a plus one charge. And so it, this would be the silver ion. So you're just going to write down silver. And then you have nitrogen as your nonmetal. So you need to drop the ending and IDE and you get the nitride ion. So you just add the word nitride. And that's it. So that's how, that's how you name the binary ionic compounds. It's just the two names of the ions together, but you need to know how to name each of the ions. So for the metal, it's just the name of the element. For the uh, non-metal, it's the uh, name of the element, but you got to drop the ending and add IDE for the ion name. Okay. I hope this was helpful. Um, we will continue on with naming of other substances. If you uh, like this video, please go ahead and like it. Share the video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Make a comment in the comment section and ring the notification bell uh, for any uh, notifications when I put out more videos. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys next time.